Hello everybody and welcome to Uprising 144K, I'm Hydrogen Man. So guys, a lot of people have been asking, is hydrogen good for parasites? Well, before I start the video, I want to let you know I'm not giving you guys any medical advice. Everything in this video is just going to be my opinion and I'll be answering that question. In my opinion, I'm going to show you some of the data that I have found. The other thing I want to mention to you guys, a lot of people have also been asking, how in the world do you come up with the protocols you come up with? And a lot of this data, especially a lot of the data that I've been coming up for years that eventually does get proven scientifically. And it's simply because I connect the dots of actual data out there already. It's just that nobody ever did a scientific study till later. And I'm going to show you guys how I do that today because people keep wanting to know and they're always wondering, where's the science on this? And I'm going to show you guys ultimately how I'm doing this. So check it out, guys. Let's first talk about uh, hydrogen and parasites. Now, first, obviously, molecular hydrogen medicine research has flourished, guys. This was basically since there was a Nature Medicine uh, publication, Nature Medicine, showing that obviously hydrogen appears to function as an antioxidant, has certain cytoprotective effects, yada, yada, yada. But this is what's interesting here. We're going to go into some greater details. First thing, well, here they did show how hydrogen had an effect on skin tumors and leukemia in animals. But here's the golden nugget that I was looking for. Parasite-induced mice liver inflammation. Now, guys, this right here, I'm going to pull up another study that is basically this same study except in more detail because here they're just kind of going over a bunch of different things. And there is one other one that I wanted to show you right here showing that basically they say that hydrogen is a superior to some antioxidant supplements with strong reductive activity such as vitamin C or vitamin E. And, you know, to avoid the increased risk of mortality, because here's the thing, guys, you probably don't want to use vitamin C or vitamin E in super high doses. However, in my opinion, it's super important to have proper levels of vitamins and minerals. However, if you look at the research, so look, one of the things that I do in my videos, guys, is I don't just tell you the information. I also show you how to apply it, which a lot of people don't do, because you have to apply the information differently. For example, I would not take a multivitamin. That's just me. And that's based on the research showing that it doesn't seem to be as effective as actual food. Getting the nutrients from food seems to be better. So I came up with a very kind of a tricky or unique way of doing that. I found this product that I really like. Every ingredient in this thing is a superfood. Check out all the ingredients. And if you look at these guys, and right here, all these ingredients, there's too many to read off. And they're all sprouted. They're all organic. Well, most of them are sprouted. Down here, these ones are not. But they're amazing ingredients. And every single ingredient in here is organic food. And that's the reason that I use this particular product. And so it's not really a multivitamin. It wasn't even intended to be a multivitamin. It's intended to be a meal replacement. In my opinion, I use it as a multivitamin and I combine it with a bunch of superfoods. Um, you guys have probably seen my smoothie videos. If not, just type in hydrogen smoothie and you should be able to find it. And so in this particular case, it's showing you that it has a greater effect, right? Um, well, they think that, that hydrogen would have a greater effect than vitamin C or vitamin E, uh, less risky. In my opinion, it, it probably would be better to use hydrogen. Now, we're talking about parasites, though. So let's go back to that paras one of the parasites studies. Now, in this particular, this was the same parasite study, and ultimately, it showed that it had a protective effect towards the liver injury, uh, namely decreased fibrosis, improvement of hedodynamics, increased NOS2 activity. Here's one of my favorite ones. Increased antioxidant enzyme activity. I think that's pretty awesome. Decreased lipid peroxide levels and decreased circulation of TF TNF alpha levels. Now, obviously, hydrogen seems to be doing really, really great in this particular uh, study for this, I guess, liver disease that seems to be affected by parasites or parasites are basically causing this. So now let's go to, to, let's see here, this particular study that has to do with parasites uh, are using an antiparasitic with vitamin C. Now, is there any study where they use an antiparasitic with hydrogen? Obviously not. Well, not that I've ever seen. And so in this particular study, it's for a disease called Chagas disease, all right? So they're trying to use vitamin C and combine it with this antiparasitic. And ultimately, what did they find, guys? Well, they found a lot of really great things. Uh, one, they did use the vitamin C alone, and they would use the antiparasitic alone to see the different, you know, the different effects. But one of the wonderful things that they found was they found that vitamin C used alone the parasite counts of the infected mice treated with vitamin C were lower. So that's one really interesting thing. So 
just vitamin C had an effect on the parasites. In my opinion, hydrogen would probably do something similar, maybe if not better. But that's again, just my opinion. And I can, I can tell you why. I mean, basically I think it's just creating an environment that makes it harder for the parasites to live in. I don't think it's directly killing the parasites. Now, here's another positive effect of vitamin C. It diminished the cytotoxicity degree of the antiparasitic. So if you were to combine hydrogen with some type of antiparasitic that has cytotoxicity, would it protect it or help? In my opinion, it probably would. But again, just, just my opinion. So obviously, if you look at the antiparasitic alone, you're going to see that it, it looks to have lower levels of parasites also. So the antiparasitic appears to work better, guys, than the vitamin C. But why not use them together if they both have a positive effect, especially when vitamin C is also having a cyto, uh, protectiveness, you know, cyto, from the cytotoxicity from the medicine itself. Now, this is what the scientists ultimately said. I mean, their conclusion, they said, hey, based on the results, the combination of vitamin C with the antiparasitic could be considered an alternative treatment to Chagas disease. So they're basically saying, hey guys, looks good. It seems to be working. So if we were to use hydrogen, I really honestly think that it would work better. One of the other interesting things about vitamin C is that it did not induce, like right here, it says vitamin C did not induce any change in the antiparasitic activity of the antiparasitic. So basically what it's really saying is that vitamin C didn't interfere with how the medicine works. So it didn't interfere and all it did was enhance it in a lot of ways. So I don't think the hydrogen would also interfere just because of the fact that, you know, it's a selective antioxidant. In my opinion, based on all the years that I've been working with hydrogen, I've never really, it doesn't really seem to not help medicines work. In fact, I've seen the opposite. It seems to enhance medicines. So that's something, it actually enhances a lot of things. So I've seen a lot of positive things in that regard. Now, if we go over to, uh, let's talk a little bit about parasites. Let me, let me go into this one real quick. Basically, there, there's talking about something that most, that nobody really seems to be talking about. I mean, it says right here, um, nobody's really paying attention to the way that, for example, a lot of environmental pollution is affecting not only our body, but like heavy metals, for example, and their toxic effects among, among other things that obviously it does to our immune system, guys, and basically the response of our immune system. But we're talking specifically about heavy metals and the way that it affects with parasites. So let me show you over here. Interestingly enough, parasites like the environment of heavy metals, uh, chemicals, and radiation. So in my opinion, when we have these things in our body, they're really gonna cause a lot of problems with our health. So this, this takes me back to why it's important to apply the knowledge properly. Like for example, vitamins. I don't use a multivitamin, I'm applying this. It's what I think is a food-based multivitamin, but they call it a meal replacement. So I use something like this. Uh, with hydrogen see there's a lot of little like cheap products like these the you know these Chinese devices and They're gonna be leaching metal. They're not only directly electrolyzing the water, but it's cheap metal quality They don't really have the proper metal technology to do it right So now you're leaching metal into your body and if anything that's just gonna attract parasites That's the interesting part. So that's why I don't recommend something like this I mean, that's why I use my device you know, a very high quality device, not leaching metals. And of course it just makes a higher grade of hydrogen and I'm actually inhaling it right now. But in my opinion, it's important to know how to apply the knowledge because we could take all this information and be like, okay, I'm just gonna take some pill, some uh, multivitamin, and I'm just gonna use one of these guys and voila, I'm getting all the great benefits, right? I don't think so guys. And the other thing is, well, some people say, well, I'm just going to wait around and see if, if eventually there's enough data. Guys, hydrogen has already proven itself to really be something that is incredible for health without any, you know, anything toxic. I mean, it just seems to be non-toxic. So why not do it? But the problem is, is when you make hydrogen the wrong way, it can have byproducts. And I talk about this a lot also. All these things need to be combined and understood in order to get the proper results as far as what you're looking for. So guys, ultimately that was it. You know, don't forget to share the video. Don't forget to subscribe, hit that thumbs up and you know, do everything you can to help out the channel because honestly, like I said, it really is highly suppressing. You can't really find my videos 
unless you specifically type in the name of my channel. But I hope that you get that this kind of gave you a sneak peek into how I'm coming up with a lot of this stuff and why it really does make a lot of sense. And I don't think that people talk about it enough. And so I really think that it's important that we learn about this stuff. Hence the reason I make my videos and share them with you guys. Thank you all for watching and I'll see you guys next time on the next one.